In our SME feature this week, we speak to engineer turned artist and entrepreneur Bless Mlangeni of Nutcase Acts. Bless, take us through forging your engineering background, art as well as business. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Ed. It's it's an interesting venture, though for a second it looks uh, impossible. Yes, but it's possible until done. Hey. Uh, what really inspired uh, my journey was uh, I've studied mechanical and then worked in civil like for, for, for a year. It was intensive, concrete. The only thing was surrounding me was concrete and steel. And then uh, like I noticed nuts there. That's how I realized that nuts, like balls and nuts, mm. they form a system called uh, M system. So I noticed them around the, the, the civil work. They're actually holding most of the structural steel work and then even behind the concrete, like where we don't see it, there's nuts as well. So it was like interesting to me, since I have the passion for locomotive, like moving objects, I started now like looking at it as in the artistic way. Like it was more like a piece done by artists, but to solve an engineering problems. You get what I'm saying in that? Because uh, I looked at it from your phones to your actually structural, mechanical, electrical, even uh, architectural, like I saw nuts now, they were mm. opening up to my world. And then I started to say, okay, what? I am a nut as well, because in my life, I've been trying to co connect people, like from arts to, to science in a way. So I then, then started realizing that, okay, for me to live to a more like an international language, let me use and a device that everybody knows, you know. So I, I took a knot, like as simple as it is, but powerful indeed. And then with an intention of unlocking minds and showing you guys and including myself that science does complement art. It sounds like a, a hell of a lot of fun <laughs> because it's 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 academic. Yep. And uh, also very independent in the sense that now you have formulated this into a business. True. So true, you're not true. just only fun employed, but you are making money. True. How true. is that side for you? Uh, that side now it's it's getting like uh, uh, figures up. Yeah, I'm getting to see the bigger picture of business because. Uh, ACT, I'm representing ACT, which is Architectural, Craft, and Touch Science. So uh, the, the craft is the one that's now like uh, reaching heights, like manifesting. But there is also uh, like craft, there's architectural, which I have designs as well. That's where I'm using now. Because it has always been a battle with me being an artist or an engineer. <laughs> like, even in the workplace, I would find that, like, I would solve mostly, like, artistic problems and, and I would be employed as an engineer, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it was really... So, for now, like, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a long way to go, but uh, I see ACT, like, going, like, really international and opening up gateways of free thinking, because uh, act, we, we, we do spaces like interior and exterior spacing. So, but I'm challenging scientific spaces like labs, because one, uh, science has been made inaccessible and black and white, just dull for the smart so-called, but I'm here to just confirm that it's everyday living and we can apply it in our life, you know. Mm. So that's what our, and so we're starting off by re re redesigning the spaces because we believe spaces have a way of influencing how people behave. Yeah. Interesting. Now let's talk about the product offerings. You have earrings that are literally bolts, studs. <laughs> you have belts out of zips and uh, the, there's, a, there's, there's a sketch that you have with you that is, uh, it seems that it's a coffee table? Yes. It's and you are looking at uh, meters of a zip? Zips, yes. <laughs> Let's talk about that side. Okay, yeah, okay. This, as I said earlier on, it's architectural, craft, and touch science. So the craft, that's where the jewelry comes in, and the, the architecture, that's where your, your, your interior base products are on. So with jewelry, I tried to come up with something uh, rather new that still have 
to get a name because uh, I, I believe in a way we are so like have inherited culture in a way but for me hey i'm not against culture eh? but i don't find anything like in culture you know <laughs> like what i mean is uh it it somehow somehow put me in a box doesn't allow me to venture new things in a way mm -hmm. so this it's like uh, I've made a, a, a culture, a certain culture which is new, doesn't have race or color or anything that still needs a new name, something fresh. So with the zip, uh, zips have always been there in, in fashion. So I, I, I use them in a medium to express free thinking because they are not associated to, to any culture, hence, hence to the nuts as well. Yes. So most of the work are there to unlock your mind, so to see, to show you that not everything you see, it's that, that's it, but it can be, you know, revised. I like that thinking and brings me to my next question. You speak of uh, thinking outside of the box, not being boxed and redefining what is already there and speaking in a universal language. Now there's the issue of funding in uh, our SME space in South Africa. How has that been for you guys with the concepts that you have, with the kind of very innovative and uh, outside thinking type of materials that you use? Oh, I'll, being honest with you, uh, uh, the response, the work really tends to knock heads, but uh, uh, it hasn't been exhausted to that level that I'll, I'll get funds to even get to the level we really want to be. Because uh, we really like uh, the work demands a whole lot of money. Because I'm using like precious metal. Because currently my work is on brass and stainless steel, of which and and also the the zips are really extremely expensive. Yeah, some some client will be like, "What? How can you sell me a neck piece for eight hundred? And I tell them it's zips, and zips are expensive. You know. So regarding f like a uh, way to funds, it'd be, it'd be an excitement if I would get uh, like uh, an opportunity, not only to, to, to exhibit my work, but to, to give other uh, platforms as well. Because I, I have people I teach, you know, and, and I mentor as well. So as I'm being mentored, <laughs> but I mentor others. So it'd be an exciting venture if our work can be really looked and like readdressed in, in a way that f can get funds, sure. Because really, um, we are not only about uh, jewelry, but in that case, it's now known for jewelry because the jewelry, it's, it's, it stands out. Because I mean, for, for one, South Africa is waiting for something new. And most of what we, we do, it's mostly European influence and American influence. We don't have something that is original, something we can say it's our own, you know. So this is it. This is our own. This is fresh. So please, guys, you know, t pay attention mm -hmm. and let's, let's be a part of it consciously and unconsciously. But, but basically, to answer your question, we really need great support, you know, of SMEs and because I'm, I'm currently uh, resourcing for scholars, like scholars in terms of art and scholars in terms of engineering because we, we want to have discussions as well that will engage on science and then fashion because then and, and, and anything between science and art basically mm -hmm. so, so we can leap to innovation because this is a need to leap to innovation. I think it's it's long. It's a long time coming of us being just watching, you know, not creating. So I think now is the time for us to create and you know to to get to the bigger world, which is the innovative world. Mm. Yes. Having spoken about the issue of funding, what do you make of the current SME space in South Africa? What are your opinions there? For some reason, we have fear. Uh, like I don't know what fear is it for, but uh, I think uh, we are not willing to go like new routes, like to re venture, like completely risk our creativeness to to open other doors. So I think I think we are we we still need a push in terms of our 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 ideas because they are refined, but. 
mostly are inspired by, as I said earlier, you, you, you like foreign countries, you know, but to, for, 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 for one, as South Africa, we know like it's a very diverse uh, country, but hey, hence there is also diverse ideas. So that needs to be really taken forward too. But I think for me, like most people like me who have like that creativity, they don't have like the balls to go out there and, and really stand proud of their work. Because you'd find that, that um, people like me don't take themselves serious. You find that they are a hustler. I'm not a hustler, I'm an entrepreneur, you know? Because uh, uh, this must go on and bear fruits for others as well, not only for my success. I measure my success with the crew, the whole crew, you know, because <laughs> we have a destination. So we, if we reach that, not only me will be happy, but everyone. So to answer you, it'd be like, we really need, as, as, as MC, MSE, we really need to elevate to other heights in such a way that we come up with new, new, fresh, there's nothing new under the sun, but they can be like, you know, looked in another dimension. Yes, which is, which is I think, uh, we can just get away from our comfort zone of looking for a job, but creating a job. Mm. I don't know if I've answered you. <laughs> you have most certainly answered. <laughs> Lastly, where to for that case? I would say th it's, it's phased in four, maybe, yeah, like one, like we need to gather as 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 creatives, so that's not case uh, intention to 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 help gather creatives to arrange discussions. Yeah, that's it. To arrange discussions where we would have invites of professors and doctors from schools, and then scholars where the, where we where we will discuss innovation and how do we then apply to it now as, as, as a unit. And then two, act like really needs to, to, to exhaust their product and people know them not only as a, as, as a, a jewelry or as furniture, but as a way of living because it's a movement, a movement of free thinkers in order for us to, to, to go to to an understanding of what the work is, we need to know what the nut represents in our work. So again, to answer you, it will be to, to teach people about our work in a way, and to allow them to have a way of creating also within the work is, and then thirdly, uh, in that case, uh, like I said, it needs to be international. So I'm busy trying to uh, fix some of the import and export because it's amazing the international response is also amazing so i'd like us to l uh, export and somehow yeah you know we find a, a bigger picture of business uh, internationally yeah because like uh, I, I i i do have clients who want things from across yeah. but the trouble is the shipping you know so it'd be nice also our government if they can have ways and, you know, to help fast. Because I tried going to a Gauteng Jobek Propeller, GEP, ah, yes, yes. so to get there, but it was like, it was a process. So mm -hmm. if only those, those process can be like, you know, man, like make easy for us. Yeah. Sure. And, and fourthly, it'd be really like an honor if we can have like even more of the team, like the team is going more with people because the people I have now, they are scholars from school. So I, most of the skills they have, it's through me that I've trained them. So it'd be nice to have other employers been taken to other facility to get training, mm -hmm. especially for sales because I, I do the sales, I do everything, yeah. you know, like, so, and I'll try to to show guys, you know, but then it'd be it'd be awesome if they can get another training from an institution as well, you know. Yes, and yeah, and then yeah. So overall, I see I see us in five years also doing the space because we we're not only looking for the look of a human being, which is ultimately what influences how we behave, but we're also looking at the space. So the act has to 
to do spaces for schools. I'm studying for, I have like a series of designs done. They just need funding. So what happens is we have, uh, I've designed school labs, studying from high school to primary, to make the spaces like fun, colorful, because as we said, science has been boring and all that. So now even they have redesigned the periodic table to best suit even an, even a five year old, it can make a meaning to that. Yes. Yep. So in that in 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 in, in, in conclusion, act should also like uh, re redesign spaces, scientific spaces for schools. It's amazing how the, the, the idea I've shown it to private sectors. They wanna buy it now and I can't give them to them. That was done for, for kids and for our kids as well, you know. Because, yeah, I believe everybody's an artist and everybody's a scientist. In order for us to synchronize the two, we have to ultimately learn. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Thank you so much. That's a very inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> that was engineer turned artist and entrepreneur Bless Mlangeni of Nutcase acting this week's SME feature.